like to give a shout out to all my brothers and sisters, um, my white brothers, LGBT community, um, really just everybody, the Buddhists, everyone. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see the good in me and then what I'm trying to say uh, gets lost in the anger and all the provocation one uh, deals with in the world. But ultimately, sometimes you have to struggle to break free from the chains. That is, that is the way out, right? Focus intensely, I teach you to live in reality and um, try to get people to see things for what they really are. And maybe I've been a little too harsh, you know, when, when people's, uh, people's vision is, is blurry, if you will, and they don't see me for who I am. I'm really a nice guy. And to me, it is very apparent, but I've been struggling and analyzing and really trying to one up everyone else pretty much my whole life while they've been sort of going about um, their lives, you know, and I'm going to put some pictures on the screen to kind of express who I am. Uh, hopefully they don't mess with them too much. Uh, when I made my poem uh, to my soulmate, um, really I was trying to get all women who come across it to see and see that this is what love is supposed to be as I poured my heart out uh, to the best of my ability I believe at the time it's been a while since I've seen the video and I think I did a pretty good job and also to set the standard as I struggle uh, to establish uh, who I am and to take my place in the world my rightful place under the sun and you know to show people that I know how it is to be cheated, be treated unfairly, be alone, uh, live in the middle of nowhere, uh, to feel marginalized, to be marginalized, to be disenfranchised, to live in a world where everyone's at each other's throats, dog-eat-dog -dog society, where people won't struggle to love each other. I don't think love just is simple as just love each other. It is truly work the angles, figure it out, get to the heart of the matter and, and the heart of the spirit, the core of the spirit and really love each other and you'll find that regardless of where you are naturally it is much more fulfilling you know you no longer are looking at people like Maleficent or something mirror mirror on the wall that stuff doesn't matter what matters is that you have love and that you find your path and your way out of this madness and perhaps together we could bring God's world God's true spirit into the world um, and that is really what freedom really is you know, it is that spiritual freedom, that, that mental freedom, uh, that physical freedom, that mind, body, soul, and spiritual freedom that comes from uh, focused intensity to get to love. You have to truly despise the idea of not having love. So in that sense, the certain resentment can be healthy. It is sort of like the resentment in battle, right? When you're fighting for that which you love, you know, and uh, so, in a, you know, ultimately, no strange right now to say it as I've made a lot of harsh videos. I apologize if I've been too harsh. Uh, that I basically love everybody from my point of view more than every, everyone else does, regardless of what I say, you know. And this love comes down to me, and I do believe this with my heart from God. And, you know, there's a lot of other things going on here, but this is the truth, you know. And, um, you know, so it's, it's also hard for me to interact with people because I see the barrier striking back. I, I know people aren't inclined to just start opening up to me, right? Some people have been nice to me and I appreciate it, but there's, there's these barriers. There's these cultural barriers, there's social barriers, there's financial barriers, there's sexual orientation based barriers. There's certain barriers that we need to get, we need to, to break down and, you know, I believe do it the right way and to, to interact with each other and help everybody find true happiness. And I do believe that everyone has something to gain from it. I think, uh, you know, sometimes where people are in positions in society where they're confused, right? They, they might think that money is true fulfillment. They might think that, you know, abusing people and, and animals is true fulfillment. And it's sad because they're cheating themselves. You know, when you get on over on other people, I do believe that you cheat yourself. When you rip people off, I do believe you rip off yourself. You know, I, I've made some mistakes in life, you know, and I regret them. You know, even times when I quote unquote got over, right? When I was younger, you know, a lot younger. Um, I regret it. Okay, I look back and I say, man, that's not me. That's not love. That's not how humans should interact. That's not something I'm proud of. 
You know, I need to struggle to break free from that. And if they force me to live in this con artist world, I need to accept death. You know, either people are going to have true love, you know, or, or give me my cross. You know, crucify me upside down, if you will. You know, but yes, I do believe true love is the answer. And I do believe that, you know, uh, some of these pictures express that artistically. I do believe some of my poems that express that artistically. And I do believe... I've done a good job communicating in some videos, but they're buried under the masses of videos where I didn't do such a great job. So without further ado, here are the pictures, and I hope you guys truly see the message that I'm communicating, because I do think that perhaps first and foremost, it is to, you know my, my job is to deliver the message, and perhaps the message itself would allow you to fall in line with the divine order, you know, and, and to and, and what love really is to find your place. You know, it's like in a, in a when you're going fishing or something, when you're when you're, you're find the place you need to be, you know, to receive God's love, and don't let anything come between you. You know, if you think I'm lying, then scrutinize what I'm saying. You know, scrutinize everything, question everything, get to the bottom of it. I assure you, I'm not lying, but I don't blame you if you think that. People are lying in this world. They're lying, low down dogs. You know, I, I don't truly blame you. There's a part of me that does because I, I feel like that it's apparent that I'm a good guy. It's apparent that I give you my heart. And I give you my uh, my truth, you know, and I've corrected my mistakes in my videos and so on and so on. Anyway, without further ado, let me give you the pictures. So I'm being completely real and I'm giving my heart out. I see who I am and I urge everyone to do the same thing. Spill your heart out. You know, don't be afraid of being made fun of. Just tell the truth, make a video of it, take pictures of it, you know what I'm saying? Give it to people. I urge you all to download the pictures on this video. Again, uh, I missed some, some groups. Shout out to the island community, the Semites, you know, the Hispanic community. Okay, shout out to Santa Clara County. You know, I'm mad at you, but I'm not, you know. Uh, shout out to... Everybody I'm missing, you know, the Jews, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, you know, uh, people who see the, themselves as my enemies, you know what I'm saying? I hope you, 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 you do the right thing, you know. I can't unfairly say that I forgive you because this has to do with mind, body, soul, and spirit. But I can say I want you to repent so that I may forgive you, you know. Um, and hopefully you, you know, God can forgive me for not doing a better job. You know, in many ways, I could have done a lot better. I'm a lot better than this. I should have outmaneuvered these guys. I should have, I should have conquered them in this world, you know. 
And it is what it is. You know? So it's like, yes, I should have. And yes, it's understandable that I didn't. But ultimately, I could have maneuvered better. I could have picked up on things quicker. Could have been in the martial arts when I was a li real little kid. Could have worked my way up. Could have noticed more things. I could have moved masterfully and just boom, 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 like clockwork. You know, and because I didn't, you know, the world is in a lot of trouble. So obviously it's not all my fault. Again, shout out to all these communities. You know, uh, I understand why you, you put your family, it holds your family such high esteem. But I urge you to understand that if the enemies keep pushing hard, no matter how beautiful the, the fa your families are, how, how lovely these kids are, you have to put the spirit of God first and understand how difficult it is. And, you know, um, if I could make it easier, I would. You know, I don't think it's entirely fair in a sense because a lot of people, you know, they're not there mentally, you know, and, and they're really pressured by scum. I do think the challenge is too unfair, and I do think it's more the enemy's fault than my lack of action. But I take responsibility, you know, for whatever I've done, Lord. And, and speaking to God right now, speaking to the true God, the true God who transcends all races, all stories, all lies, the true God, the source, the true creation, the creator of the, the universe. No, no word play here, just the truth. Okay, the truth, the truth of my words, the pure truth. Okay, right, please give me the, the power and the, and the guidance and guide me to help me make the world a better place. Please help people see what's really going on here and why I really stumble on my words and what's really going on and, and what we, we must do. You know, uh, remove all ulterior motives from my heart. If there are any, I don't believe there's any, but I've been, I've been very persecuted. I've been trying to tell these people the truth. You know, sometimes I come, I say things in a way that does not reflect the truth that I'm saying, but it is true. You know, I truly intend to restore the divine order to the best of my ability, and I've, I've come across some stumbling blocks. You know, and I, I thank you, God, for everything, for this opportunity to see into the pictures of who I really am, the ideas hidden there in the pictures to some degree, the truth, the true love that I have for humanity, the true love that I have for the, 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 what, what women are truly meant to be, for women, for, for the children, the true love that I have that allowed me to, to achieve this glorious journey that I'm on. And I, I apologize for any unnecessary sacrifices that I made along the way. I'm trying, Lord, and I love you. And please help us, please help us do the right thing. I forgot uh, the Native American communities, the Native Americans. Shout out to them, to the Africans, to the black people. You know, I see your struggle. Sometimes it's so obvious to you, you know, that you you mean everybody, that you don't remember to name everybody, you know. So, you know, and uh, I, I pray that this country, you know, does the right thing and they, they realize their mistakes, you know, that they struggle. To, to do the right thing, struggle for righteousness, you know, that their words are inspired by pure truth and love and no ulterior motives. I think that if you really express this thing and show love to people, you know, uh, that it, it will pay off in the long term. I do believe that. I do believe that people who were screened out trying to give other people love, you know, there's a very special place for them in the afterlife. And I don't want to go on too much because this video is long enough as it is, so I'll leave it there. Am I missing anybody here? Well, let's see. You know, I, I tried my best. I'm missing anybody. I apologize. I, the islanders, all the indigenous people, you know. So I'll leave it there.